Chemical burns. Um, we don't see these a lot pre-hospitally. Um, this is obviously a scene safety issue if we see some chemical burns because if a patient has a chemical on them, we need to get that chemical off. Remember, we address dry chemicals and liquid chemicals differently. Dry chemicals, we can use some object, um, a brush or a towel, to try to dry, uh, brush as much of the chemical off as we can, and then we use water. If it is a liquid chemical, then we can immediately go to water. And copious is what the, the books always say. And um, generally, I think about 15 to 20 minutes of water is, is good for that. The chemicals that cause burns tend to be very uh, acidic or very alkalitic. Um, the acids cause what they call a coagulation, so it kind of damages the cell membranes and then the fluids from inside the cells leak. And with acids, it tends to clump together or coagulate, and this kind of limits how deep uh, most acid burns can go unless it's a very potent acid. Now, alkalis tend to not coagulate things, but tend to just dissolve them and keep it in liquid form. So this alkali can eat through the epidermis and then eat through the dermal layer. And then if it's still there, it can eat through the subcutaneous layer and even down into the muscles. So alkalis, because they don't coagulate, can get much deeper.